guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video on what to do if you don't get the grades needed. Now, I personally know this experience because I didn't get the English, I originally didn't get the English grade needed. As in English literature and language, I got a grade three. Obviously, that's bad because I needed a four. Actually, no, I needed a five, a grade five to get into the course I needed. So I had to do I had to go and see what's known as the GCSC pathway in my college and it worked out better for me but obviously when you open your results on the results day <laughs> you're not and you don't get the grades you need you're going to feel devastated however it's just a piece of paper there are options even if it means you're having to do an extra year of college, you'll be okay. Tip number one slash advice piece number one is don't panic, it's okay. I know personally, I panicked, but like when I got my results and I didn't get the grade needed, I panicked because I thought, oh my god, I'm not going to be able to go into university, not university, college. And then when on like sort of like enrollment day I found out about the option I did which is known as GCC Pathway. I felt a lot more I felt a lot happier because I could do GCC plus then two other GCCs. So that was great. Obviously I don't know if you hadn't sort of if you're like new to my channel and if you are hit that subscribe button. But if you are, then you wouldn't know that my secondary school sent me a letter asking for permission to get my paper two English language remarks. And when the results came back, I got an extra three marks, which took me up to a grade four. Insane, but I still wouldn't have gotten to the course I needed. It worked out better because I now know what I actually want to do in the future. At least at the moment, I'm pretty sure I want. I know what I want to do in the future, but yeah, it's worked out better for me. Like advice piece number two is talk to your careers guidance counselor at school. Now, obviously, this more applies like for if you're getting your results, like you're going into school to get your results. I know you can some you can get them online now. But some people like the whole process of going into school and obviously this only applies if you do, your school does have a guidance counsellor. If it doesn't then speak to, I don't know, maybe your head of teacher if she's there or a teacher because it's a lot, going to be a lot nicer to talk to a teacher and like talk it through with a teacher and like a guidance counsellor can tell you about your options, they'll obviously re tell you exactly what I just told you, they'll reassure you that you can still do like college with what you've got, or you can do like, or at your sixth form, you can do like a sort of, like a foundation year where you get, have like obviously lower entry requirements and you can do that, but then, and you'll get the grades you need and you'll retake the one you need and then you'll then start your course and so effectively you'll do year 12 twice but yeah like speak to your career's guidance counsellor they'll tell you your options they'll reassure you that you can still do what you want to do and now the next thing is for the people who are getting the results online and if you are then phone your school or your college or the college you are planning on going to. Now obviously with your school it could be the sixth form or if it's a different sixth form because your school doesn't have a sixth form then the, the person you should call up and they're obviously going to give you like the, your future education provider they're going to tell you whether you can still study at their institution and they're again going to reassure you 
or they're going to give you or if you can't study at that institution they're going to give you advice or other places you can study at I think they would give you other places you study at don't hold me to that one and yeah and the last piece of information is it doesn't define you that piece of paper does not define you I repeat does not refine you not refine And obviously, I know people don't like whispering, but for some reason, I felt right to whisper that. But yeah, that piece of paper doesn't refine you. You are so much better than your results. <laughs> because those are exams. You might not do well with exams. You might do well with coursework. It might be coursework you're into, and a coursework subject you're planning on doing. Oh, it might be an apprenticeship. I have no clue about apprenticeships and like getting into apprenticeships, but it might be an apprenticeship you're doing. Like, I'm I'm saying it doesn't define you because there are options, there are ways you can get into your preferred career or your career field. Like, obviously, you might not know specifically what you want to do, but you know the career field and even though it seems like those exam results can get you into that field like i've mentioned you can do an extra year and it'll be all right like you can do an extra year and get those like let's say you failed both math and english you can do an extra year at college and do that math and English and you can do like a level 2 BTEC course or something. It's alright. It doesn't define you. You can always work past it. You can learn from it. You can work harder. Or at least you can all. You can work smarter. You can either work smarter or you can work harder. Or a mixture of both. Depends what you want but it doesn't define you. <laughs> is that all I wrote? Yeah, that's all I wrote. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash a thumbs up, share it to 10 likes, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos, because I put a lot of effort into these ones in this results week. <laughs> and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!